How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the ASUS ROG Flow Z16. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 28 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Prepare a PH0 screwdriver to remove the 13 screws securing the back cover. It's advised to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing or losing screws. When opening the back cover, have your triangular pry tool and spudger ready. Stand the laptop up and aim for the side of the back cover, inserting the triangular pry tool into the seam and working around the edges along the top and side. Apply the same action to the other side. Work around the body to gently release the clips. Be careful not to use excessive force to avoid damaging the back cover. Once the clips are released, use two spudgers to carefully push the power cable connectors out and disconnect them. After disconnecting the power, remember to press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any residual power. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use tweezers to gently push the display cable forward. Then, detach the cable from the cooling module. Using a PH0 screwdriver, unscrew the 8 screws on the cooling module, following the order indicated to prevent uneven pressure that could damage the core. I use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Afterward, slowly apply force to disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna and remove the cooling module. Next, focus on the fans. Unscrew the two screws and use tweezers to disconnect the fan cables for easy fan removal. Repeat the same process on the other side. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air to clean the fan, thermal module, and dust from the back panel. When using compressed air, maintain a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. Compressed air will help clean finer details and significantly improve dust removal efficiency. Once the cooling module is cleaned, don't forget to clean the dust from the body of the laptop. Use compressed air to clean the finer details, and also clean the back cover, as dust can accumulate there as well. 
Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used cooling Monster Cold 01 high performance thermal paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. First, reconnect both fan cables and place the fans back into position. Then, screw the two screws back into place. Repeat this on the other side. Next, align the cooling module with the holes and install it by pressing it down. Using a PH0 screwdriver, install the cooling module by following the numbered sequence. It's recommended to tighten the 8 screws to about 70% first, and once all screws are in place, tighten them fully to avoid too much stress on the components. Afterward, reconnect the display cable And finally, reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna, ensuring that the black wire is close to the screw area. And reinstall the power cable. You can check to see if the laptop powers on normally. Finally, close the back cover, snap the clips in place, and screw the 13 screws back into the bottom. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.